G'day guys, Sam here, and I'm finally back with another video. Um, yeah, now it's been a month, maybe two, since my last upload. Um, so yeah, I think it's about time I made another one. But that's not to say I haven't actually been out hunting. I've actually gone out on heaps of hunts. I went for a seeker hunt in the Kaimanuas. or nothing <laughs> um, I've been into my local spot um, I actually shot a deer I shot a real nice fellow spiker I uh, didn't record that hunt of course because that's just how it goes and then the, the week after that I went in and actually um, had a big boar come right up to me and I'd forgotten to put the bolt down <laughs> so it ran away and that was bloody gutting I was kicking myself for days after that but anyway, I'm back here on the East Cape actually, we're back here for the weekend and um, so this is back in the spot where my most previous upload was actually. But before we get started, um, this morning I went for a bit of a fish and actually slayed up and caught a whole bunch of harpooka. So um, yeah, I'll play that for you guys now. Yeah. Yes, two fish. Double header. Yeah, cracking trailer. Yeah. Oh, hey. That boy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, bloody hell. Oh. Holy crap. Hey guys! Oh, 
Alrighty, well, uh, now that I've gone fishing for the day, I think it's time to go hunting, so uh, here's hoping we shoot something, eh? Alrighty, let's go. Okay. Bloody hell. Whew. Okay. <laughs> There's a mob of goats just there. I thought it was a deer, actually, because it looked it was the same colour as a deer, and it came and saw one of them come up and had a shot. I thought I hit it, but I might have hit a branch instead. And then anyway, they kind of started running up there and I caught a glimpse of the main billy, he wasn't that big. And then was this young black one quartering away from me, but 140 grain, 7 mil away bullet, kind of thought, yep, bugger it. Haven't shot anything in a while, so boom, got him down, main. All right, well the first goat I shot at was around here, I believe just looking for any blood it didn't really look like it was hit to be honest so maybe i just clean missed it was a bit bit rushed because they were very close to taking off certainly didn't drop but the uh the black one did oh there's that smell Oh, beautiful little eater, this one. Oh. Sweet. Dead as. That is a perfect eating goat. Oh, that's awesome. Have a quick look around. I'll climb up here a little bit for that brown one, but you know how goats go. When you hit them, they bloody scream, so... Probably would have, uh, yeah, bit of a shame actually that I missed that first one, but it was a bit shaky. Alrighty, anyway, main, thank you very much, mate. Beautiful little eater. Alrighty, here she is. So, uh, yeah, beautiful eating go. Obviously, not as big as a deer, and a deer would be awesome, but uh, you know, hey. It itched my trigger finger because I haven't shot anything in... Oh, this is actually my first kill for 2022. Congratulations. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. So, oh, I just wanted to itch my trigger finger, really. I was going to shoot anything. Um, basically anything. So, yeah, me absolutely stoked with this. So, I'll just gut her and just sling around my shoulder. She's not very heavy. Um, and then, yeah, I'll probably whip the meat out of her. I'll leave her hanging overnight, get the meat out of her tomorrow. We might still, we, because the wind is going to be in our face now, walking back to camp, or walking back to the car at least. Oh, gone. Um, so, yeah, we might even get lucky and bump into something on the way back. That would be, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. So uh, we'll have to see what happens. No promises, obviously. Can't promise anything when you're in the bush. But, uh, yep, no, absolutely stoked to um, get this goat. And, um, yeah, alrighty. Sweet as.
I think I'm gonna need to find a more comfortable way to hold this. <laughs> Bloody hell. The goat is not even that big, but it's a pain in the ass to carry because it was the perfect size where it was too small to make into a backpack, like the legs are too short, and just big enough that it's a pain in the ass to carry around your shoulders. But anyway, I finally made it back to the car. And uh, yeah, I didn't see anything on the way back, um, but that's all right. Man, how? Awesome as that, catching a harpoka, well catching four harpoka and shooting a goat in one day. That is bloody awesome. Only really in the East Cape, I especially suppose West Coast. Okay, there's a few places in New Zealand where you can do it, but I've never like caught a you know respectable fish and um, shot an animal in the same day. So yeah, no, bloody stoked. So uh, yeah, anyway, I will uh, yeah see you guys back at camp probably tomorrow. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, it is the next day and we've got old mate goat hanging in the uh, Stony Creek meat safe and uh, yeah, I'm just about to cut it up and uh, yeah, start processing it and getting all the meat and stuff off it. I think we'll make it into a curry or something. There's not going to be a whole bunch of meat on it so we'll probably only get one curry out of the whole bloody thing, but anyway. So anyway, that is the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. See you later.